the truth the girls. Hi everyone, it's the truth the girl Sonia here. I wanted to do a follow up to my last video where I brought up that Trump had sort of mentioned that China had the death penalty for drug dealers and uh, well hey obviously being tough on drug crime is the answer because it's working super well for China, right? The Chinese president said we don't have a drug problem but it turns out that that president is probably full of shit Sue. What? What do you mean by that? He's lying. It's government propaganda. And the reason I know this is that I googled it and I found out a few things about China. I was googling Yaba, which I happen to know is like, it's a kind of meth plus um, caffeine, which is very popular in Asia. And I was like, well, don't they have this in China? And uh, as I was googling this, I came across, led by China, Mekong nations take on golden triangle narco empires. China is fighting the narco empires, but listen to this. China is a favorite destination for Myanmar's drugs, which are flowing through Asia in unprecedented quantities. See, the drugs are going into China. A favorite destination. Why would that be? Probably because Chinese people like drugs just as much as anybody else. President was wrong, you see? They do have a drug problem. More than 250 million methamphetamine pills, better known by their Thai name Yaba or Crazy Medicine, were seized in East and Southern Southeast Asia in 2013, an eightfold increase from 2008. In 2015, China seized a record of 36.5 tons of methamphetamine, most of it from Myanmar. Myanmar is the world's largest, uh, second largest producer of opium, the bulk of which ends up in China as heroin. So maybe China's president should spend a little time on Google uh, to find out that in fact his country does have a drug problem. China has no drug problem. I mean, that was complete nonsense. Let's face it. China has a drug problem, just like anybody else. And so does America. And America has been doing the tough on drugs, the drug war for, for decades. And it's clearly not working. And it's not working for China either. That's the truth. Uh, so the, the other thing was as I was reading through my comments, because yes, I do read the comments. Ah, here we go. Uh, this was a comment left by Dowsett. The president never said he will cite a new bill to kill drug dealers. True, true. He didn't say that. He just, he just said they need to get tougher on, on drug offenses, which is, is, like I said, it's just more of the war on drugs. And he was saying like, hey, look how tough China is. And see, they don't have a drug problem. But we now know that that is not true. Although, why should we have to feed and supply them beds? This is what Dowsett wants to know. Why should you have to feed drug addicts and supply them beds? Well, maybe if you gave them methadone, they wouldn't be on drugs and you could, they could feed themselves and you wouldn't have to give them beds or drugs. Okay, but why should you care about drug addicts, right? Because it's just a bunch of losers. Like, it's nobody you know. It's definitely not you. It's not your family. It's some weird, losery people out there who just brought this on themselves, right? Uh, well, apparently not because you have to look at what the root was of the drug like the opioid crisis in America how it really started it goes back to the 1990s when the pharmaceutical industry had convinced the medical community that people could not become addicted to opioids if they were given them when they were in pain if you take them when you're not in pain you're going to turn into a raging drug addict but if you're in pain it's okay because your brain will know the difference and then when you're not in pain, you can just stop taking them. Uh, except that this isn't true. I remember actually hearing this myself from a doctor. Oh, well, pain medication is okay for people when they're in pain because they don't get addicted. I know this because I'm a doctor. Damn it. It turned out not to be true. And this was a lie, a big, huge lie. Big Pharma was telling the medical community and the doctors were repeating this, this to their patients. So this is what happened in the 1990s. And so they were prescribing a lot of these opioid drugs. And so a lot of these people who are now addicted to heroin are actually just, they, at one time they were regular people who had an accident or had some kind of pain and they were given opioids by their doctors and it turned them into addicts. And the reason a lot of them switched over to heroin was because after a while people saw, Look what this is doing. People are getting addicted. We need to clamp down. Doctors can no longer prescribe this. So doctors wouldn't prescribe it or people just couldn't afford it. 
and they turn to heroin because it's cheaper. And that's the root of it. And now you've got a big old mess. I think you should just clean up the mess. Pharmaceutical companies got people into this and they can get them out of it too with substitution therapy and with drug rehab therapy. And let's face it, it is your problem, America. You have a lot of drug addicts out there and if you don't do something about it, you're just gonna have a lot more deaths, drug sales, and crime, and HIV. You can't just be like, it's not my problem. Why should I give them food in a bed? Don't give them food in a bed, give them methadone, give them treatment, get them back on their feet, and, and then you're gonna solve this problem because the way it's going now, it's not gonna happen and the drug war is not gonna do it. The prisons are stuffed, they're full, and you know who runs the prisons? The drug dealers. They run the drug trade from inside the prison. The gangs and the dealers run the prisons and they also run the trade outside. So if you put more people in jail, you're just giving the dealers more people to work for them. You're just fueling, fueling the problem. The gang problem, the drug problem. You gotta think outside the box. Look to other countries that have had a successful model where it's working. That's where you should be getting ideas. Not looking at China, who's lying anyway. Not trying to make, get tougher in the war on drugs with penalties. It's not working. You need to do something different. And, uh, and you know he was saying, oh, they're killing your kids. Yeah, but as long as you're not doing something different, you're not solving the problem, you're just contributing to it. And bottom line is the kids are dying. P kids are getting swallowed up. All kinds of people are getting swallowed up in this problem. So you need to think outside the box. So that's it. Thank you for leaving me your comments. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for your support on Patreon. Thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.